welcome to a highly requested video we do every single year i gotta stop doing that i was able to sell a bunch of cards i got a lot more to sell but we do have 3.7 million coins and mistakes will obviously be made in today's video you know me i like to be different i like to do things different around here and we are going to be upgrading the twerk for coins team a freaking shitload yesterday's video i told you guys i probably do like a million coins spending free but looking at who i really want to add on the team million coins not gonna cut it it's just not what i'm gonna need you guys to do i'm not sure how much i'm gonna spend i hope i don't spend it all make sure you guys drop a like on the video leave a comment and let me know if there's a player that i did not get to get now you already saw the offense and now you get to see what the defense looks like i've been powering up players here and there but we are going to be making a bunch of changes to the team i really hope i don't spend all my coins now before you say anything about a quarterback i got journey unlocked i'm gonna be grinding journey all night long so i can get carson wins and get some gameplay out asap with carson wins now obviously i think the most important position for me to upgrade is gonna be my defensive secondary cornerbacks maybe a free safety definitely is where i want to focus on now with the team diamonds bro there's a lot of team diamonds out here a lot of really good team diamonds and with every single diamond bro it's just cha-ching 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 if you guys did miss my last pack opening we did wind up pulling Jalen ramsey I, tro I totally totally think he's the best card in the game so why not get the better version? Now, I'm not going to take you guys through the boring part, but you can see the before and the after of how many coins this actually cost me. You can see the cards that we do have. I'm going to go ahead and buy the rest of these. We only get 22,000 coins back. This is one of the most expensive sets in the game. Now, as I'm buying these cards, bro, let me just show you something. When you do a set, man, you go in, you search for the card. It shows you the cheapest card. It actually sorts it by buy now cheapest price. It wasn't like that last year, yo. I'll be the first one to call EA out out of anybody. You already know that. But this is a good-ass feature. We only have one more card to buy, and then the Jaguar set for Diamond. 92 overall. Jalen Ramsey will be complete. Honestly, bro, if you don't pull Ramsey or get him out of a nap pack, this might be one of the most expensive sets to do. You can saw 130K right there. He was 50K. He was 45K. He was 50K. But we do have Ramsey, so we're basically trading in Jalen Ramsey, and I think I spent a good, uh, uh, an easy, easy 350k to be able to do this set. But we are going to finish our first Jaguars diamond set. Jalen Ramsey. Let's see him, bro. This is definitely the biggest upgrade we're going to get in today's video. 92 overall. Jalen Ramsey. 88 speed. 89 excel. 90 play rec. 92 zone. 93 man coverage. 94 press. But he's got really good play recognition, man. I love that. 90 play rec. 84 agility. 6 foot 2. Jalen Ramsey, welcome to the squad. Dude. I just realized if I want to add chemistry or even an ability, I got to buy Jalen Ramsey again to power him up. Fuck me. You guys already know my next upgrade. I probably should have done this man first. If you missed my video on how to upgrade Khalil Mack and Aaron Donald and any of the other power-up players to a level below this one, Go watch that video because it really helps you out, man. You can get a good team for just a couple training points, especially if you guys are opening packs. 223,000 coins, 88 overall, left end, Khalil Mack. We're going to go ahead and scoop him up for 223,000. Khalil Mack is now on the team. Yo, now this is actually good because on launch day, guys, I signed on, I pulled some packs, and I bought Aaron Donald already for this video for 190,000 coins. He's already up to 315,000. So we're going to save about 120,000 coins in just two days. I feel like prices are already going up and they probably will go back down. All right, so what we should be able to do is go into Aaron Donald. Maybe I should have just powered up the regular Ramsey. I'm just going to throw that out there. That might have been the best thing to do here. We got 87 overall Aaron Donald. So we're going to go ahead and wild card him with the card that we bought out of the item binder with this Aaron Donald. We'll go ahead and combine them. That will upgrade Aaron Donald to a 90 overall. And we can also add abilities. Now guys, on defense, I've decided to do not only lockdown for my corners and maybe my middle linebackers, but I'm also going to be doing pass rush. If you go into the level solos, you can complete the level solos, get jerseys, and you can actually add chemistry to those jerseys. If you guys didn't know, definitely go do those level solos. They don't offer a lot of... Okay, so we could put Sprinter. I'm going to put Sprinter on them. 
but I'm not gonna do it yet. We'll put it on there and then jump the snap. You know what? Why not? We'll put jump the snap on Aaron Donald too. All right, so Aaron Donald is now a 90 overall. We're gonna do the exact same thing we just did. Dude, I really, I really am about to spend all my coins. Oh my God, dude. Team's gonna be worth it though. Definitely having a ton of fun. 89 overall, Khalil Mack. We'll add the Raiders cam. I don't know what ability he's gonna be able to get. We'll go once again with pass rush. Just now realized this kind of sucks because um, Khalil Mack isn't a 90 overall. So I don't think he gets an ability unless you're a 90 overall. He's still my dog though. I wonder if we get chemistry boosted to a 90, if we can then add an ability. I don't know. Be sticking in the team diamond set for right now at 3 million coins, bro. And I'm going once again back to the cornerback position. You might be thinking, yo, Chris Harris Jr., 90 overall gives 17,000 coins back, but that's not who we're doing, man. I am going with the Minnesota Vikings, Xavier Rhodes. Hopefully, we can get some coins back from doing this one. But if you go on Mudhead and you look at Ramsey and Rhodes, bro, these two guys are extremely locked down corners, and we're only going to get 12,000 coins back. I'm getting robbed. Now, for the Vikings, bro, we only pulled Stefan Diggs, so I'm going to have to buy every single other elite. And once again, dude, I just now realized I asked Twitter. They confirmed it. I'm going to have to buy another Xavier Rhodes to put on my diamond Xavier Rhodes if I want to add an ability to him. Now, they did say that if I want to sell Xavier Rhodes, both of them later on, I can just power them down and sell them. So I guess it's not that bad. But honestly, these sets don't feel really bad. Like, I'm like, oh, bro, my coins aren't going down at all. And then you get to, like, Anthony Barr, 70,000 coins. You can get him for free in a level up pack. He's actually on my team right now. Linvel Joseph, 45K. I don't even want to know what these four guys cost. Everson Griffin, 70,000 coins. 188,000 coins for Harrison Smith. Oh, my God. Why do I feel like I've just made the dumbest decisions? You can see Rhodes, 200,000 coins. This set right here for Xavier Rhodes. This, this dude better come out and play like the greatest player in Madden history. Or I'm selling his ass with the quickness, man. You'll see his stats though, guys. He's definitely between him and, and Ramsey, in my opinion, are better than Champ Bailey. They are worth more coins. It also costs a lot more to do. You guys can see Xavier Rhodes right here. 92 overall. Welcome to the squad, baby. He's going to have 87 speed, 86 excel, 93 play rec. Dude, I want play rec. I want jumping. I want catching. That is what I want on my team. 93 zone or 93 man, 92 zone, 91 jumping, 93 press. You can see how he compares to the last corner. We got Jalen Ramsey. You can see the play rec is higher. The zone and man are the same. Press is basically the same. Yo, no fly zone. I'm definitely going to wind up spending. If you haven't dropped a like yet, subscribe, notifications, leave a comment. I'm definitely spending a... I might spend them all, bro. Now we're going to be once again staying in the secondary. I'm telling you, bro. I don't want people passing on me. I feel like a lot of times if you don't send pressure, they got all day to pass. I need people to make me plays. Now, I know I could go with Sean Taylor. And let me hear you. Hear me out real quick. I, I want catching. I want play rec. I want people that are going to make plays once they get the football. I know Sean Taylor is going to have that as well. He's going to have great returning stats if he does intercept it. Of course, bro. <laughs> he going to lay the boom, but I feel I want to be different. And I feel like eventually everyone's going to have Sean Taylor. So Earl Thomas, we're going to do him. I might just sacrifice the coins, do all the diamonds, sell the ones that I don't want, try to make as many coins as possible before everyone else starts doing them. And get Ronnie Lott. I actually just now noticed that Earl Thomas is going to give us 81,000 coins back, which is definitely, definitely nice. I kind of regret now not doing the Seahawks team diamond pack to get a guaranteed one of these higher overalls. So, so far, it hasn't cost a lot, but I feel like these last five cards, bro, they are going to be expensive. 30,000 coins right here for Doug Baldwin. 65,000 coins for Camp Chancellor. 170,000 for Russell Wilson. I just sold mine. 100 and, yo, honestly, guys, 150,000 for Earl Thomas. I know you can get, like, guaranteed, like, 88 overalls with the Cowboys, but looking at how many elites are in the Seahawks, bro, if you haven't done your Team Diamond solos where you get the free Team Diamond elite pack, honestly, bro, if you want to risk it for the biscuit, I would do the Seahawks. Finally, time to break the bank. 200 and oh my God, bro. 215,000 coins for Bobby Wagner. Dude, Earl Thomas better play like the greatest free safety I've ever seen. We're going to get ourselves 81,000 coins back. Earl Thomas the third. These stats, bro. 
These stats are beautiful. 91 overall, Earl Thomas. Check him out. 88 speed, 89 excel, 92 play rec, 92 zone, 87 hit power. He's got 75 pursuit, 81 man, but just everything else about this card. A 90 agility. I love that. 89 excel, 92 awareness, 82 catching. Definitely, definitely nice. 82 tackle is good. 88 jumping. Something about Earl Thomas, bro. He just always plays really, really well. 85 juke. If he does, he be he, huh, he better get a bunch of interceptions. Look, I'm trying to figure it out myself on who I want to do. And I was thinking, yo, I could do Reuben Foster. But looking at the stats, like Luke Keekley, guys, Luke Keekley, really that dude, bro. He only got 79 speed. But like everything else about him, you've seen the gameplays with Keekley. Like, I don't know if, I, like, I, I kind of want Greg Olsen. We already have Keekley. We could get Ruben Foster, but. Yup, 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 yup. Mistakes have definitely been made in today's upgrade video, boys. You already see on your screen 91. Overall, Jadavion Clowney is going to be our next upgrade. We're at 1.67 million coins. We got a lot of really good players for the Texas to buy, but we're going to get ourselves a 91 overall. Jadavion Clowney, one of the best cards in the game. We do get back 100. In 88,000 coins, not gonna be enough. Four cards we gotta buy: Honey Badger, Clowny, Hopkins, Watt. Let's just let's just get this over with. JJ Watt, 249,000 coins. I think the worst thing about this is I I, I don't get the cards back. So 159,000 coins for DeAndre Hopkins. 178,000 coins for Jadavion Clowny. And after this purchase, we are going to officially be under a million coins. 100,000 coins for the Honey Badger. Honestly, though, man, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about powering up some of these cards. Maybe I'll try to buy the cards to power them up once the game comes out. But we are going to get 188,000 coins back for Clowny. Look at these stats, though, bro. These stats are insane. 91 overall Clowney right here. He's going to have himself 83 speed, 87 acceleration. That's literally four speed slower than Xavier Rhodes. 85 strength, 88 tackle, 90 play rec, 86 finesse, 92 power move, 89 block shedding. Once we start getting some boost, some chemistry, y'all better watch out. Why well, I feel like we did all the expensive ones just now. There's got to be some cheap ones, right? Dude, I can't believe I'm about to do this, but I'm going to wind up doing it, man. Greg Olsen, he's got one of the highest spec catches in the game. And I feel like, I really, truly believe, like, spec catch this year really is what matters. I could be wrong. Like, possession catch to me doesn't feel like it's the move this year. Obviously, I, I, that's my personal opinion. So I'm going to wind up doing Greg Olsen here. Now, I do have Luke Keekley already, and I'm not sure if I want to buy back Luke Keekley again. Or just part my ways with Keekly right now. Move on to a new user. I'm not too sure because I've been using Ryan Shazier as well. I'll show you guys where we're at with him. But I feel like I really just want to get Olsen. Cam Newton, 72,000 coins for Cam Newton. I'm assuming the most expensive pieces are going to be these top five right here. I feel like, dude, I don't know. I feel like my team's going to be good. But then again, like, I didn't get a lot of cards for almost 4 million coins being spent. I feel like we got a lot of good cards. If you're wondering, like, my enthusiasm is completely changed. I'm a little sick, bro. I was going to do a 1 million coin spending spree, and then reality fucking checked in right at the front door and was like, you really going to do a video where you buy two cards? Not my style, bro. Final card for Greg Olsen, almost 100,000 coins. I mean, you pulling these cards. Daryl Williams, 100,000 coins. Cam Newton, 75,000 coins. Luke Keekly, like he, his price right now is way too cheap. He's, he's like 250,000 coins. My personal opinion, I feel like Luke Keekly is going to go up in price. So I might as well, like if I want him, I'm going to just buy him again sooner or later. Maybe even today, we're going to add Keekly to the lineup. We're going to get ourselves back. 93,000 coins puts us at 811,000 coins, but we do get 91 overall. Greg Olson, now he's faster than Travis Kelsey. He's got 83 speed, 91 spec catch, 93 catch in traffic, 90 route running short, 88 route running middle, 93 catching, 70 run block. Dude, if I can get an ability on this guy, I think he's going to be the best tight end in the game. He is the best tight end in the game. Yo, we're going to buy the power up right here. Greg Olsen, 2,000 coins. The cheapest I've spent all video, bro. Definitely going to be worth it, though. And this is still all new to me, but if I decide to take it away, I get all the cards back. Bro, I've been recording for almost two hours. I don't even know if this video's. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I've been recording for about two hours. I'm going to buy Luke Keekly back one more time because I really, I truly think his price is going to go up. 
218,000 coins. That's a, that's a steal. I'm actually gonna rebuy or dude. I cannot believe I'm doing this. I'm gonna rebuy Earl Thomas again, dude. I feel like this this whole power up thing to get abilities like everyone says it's great i think it's great too but i gotta buy him again maybe because i'm the idiot that did the set instead of just buying the card to get the collectible to get a ronnie lot that i probably fucking could have bought two months from now. oh my i'm 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 gonna go throw up now hopefully you guys enjoyed because i'm starting to think that mistakes were definitely made after I what I just I, I I just talked about. All right. Um, now we've got to do Olsen in order to do that. We're gonna need a lot more chemistry. Wow. All right. So you guys can see 84 speed, 86 acceleration for Greg Olsen right here. Once we get enough training points to do it, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. All right. So Greg Olsen is gonna get times two chemistry right here because he's over a 90 overall. We're gonna craft the go deep chemistry on him. Our training points are pretty low. Physical, um, you can actually times two it, I think. It looks like that. So we could put we could put Sprinter on him and give him to 85 speed. And he also does have Playmaker, which is perfect. We're going to power up Earl Thomas as well. But, the, dude, honestly, I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking, like, bro, I don't know. Like, these cards have got to play really, really good to power them up. Because it's, it's crazy, crazy expensive. These guys can play like absolute gods. And then, you know, I, I'll be happy with this. We're going to put Earl Thomas right there. 92 overall for Earl Thomas. And we also get to add an ability to him. We'll see what what abilities we'll be able to add. So his scheme, well, once again, we'll go with lockdown. The goal is to get Sprinter on everyone. But that's like, it would cost millions of coins. You guys can see the abilities. Yo, my man Earl Thomas, all this coins I spent, he better not drop any picks. I'm going to say that right now. His ass is sold. You already know. So uh, we got pick six, gives unlimited stamina until he's touched. I'm liking tip drill. Honestly, I'm liking tip drill. There's a lot of tip passes in the game. He's a safety. I feel like if, if, if the ball is tipped and he comes up with it, I think that is a good chemistry for him. So I'm going to go ahead and add tip drill right there to Earl Thomas. All right, Luke Geekly. Now a 90 overall. The one we saw in the last game blade was only the 89 overall. Didn't have any abilities. We're going to find out. Like, the thing is, I wish we could know what abilities, what cards have before we do it. But I'm okay with that. We're going to, once again, we're going to actually, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with lockdown for Luke Geekly. He's going to add catching. It's going to add zone and man we can obviously like i said add sprinter we just don't have the training points to do that and then the abilities jump the sap hot hands gives a much higher catch chance to the defender when user controlled tip drill secure tackler for luke geekly footsteps players has an increased impact on receivers catching chance pick specialist and unfakeable Honestly, it's between, in my hand, Secure Tackler is probably the move, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to go with Secure Tackler. 900. I mean, I don't know. Tip Drill, Hot Hands. I don't feel like we drop any picks with Keekly. We'll look at his stats once they get in the lineup. But, yo, Secure Tackler, definitely the way. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I truly, truly hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I'm going to just spend them all. I know you guys are going to hit a bunch of likes on the video. Hit a bunch of comments, man. You guys are going to be ready. Vaughn Miller, welcome to the team. Now you guys can see 80 speed, 83 excel, 89 tackling, 90 play rec, 85 finesse move, 88 power move with 86 block shedding. I'm going to have to get more training points, but I feel like you guys get the gesture. You understand what I'm trying to do. Obviously, we're trying to build the defense. Defense wins you games. Defense wins you Super Bowls. Let's go ahead and get these cards in the lineup. I'll go over them with you, and uh, I'm going to go. Uh... All right, boys, so you can see the squad. We weren't able to do exactly everything that we wanted. You can see the chemistries on the right side as well, man, between the training and the power-ups. Like, I'm going to run, like, two or three games with the powered-up players, see how they do. Maybe we'll play with them all the way through our Super Bowl. And uh, if they don't really do anything better than the normal diamond or something I don't see or the abilities don't stand out to me, I'll probably power them down and sell the cards back um, and just keep the regular diamonds. We do have 92 overall. Greg Olson right here. He's going to be our only offensive upgrade in this spending spree. 84 speed, 75 strength, 94 catching, 94 catching traffic, 93 spec catch with the go deep boost, 91 uh, SR short route running, medium route running, and run blocking. He is able to get playmaker 
It costs 900 training, though. And we literally put about 3 million, yeah, maybe 3.2 million coins into our defense. Probably more than that. Over 4 million, 4 million coins with all the training points that we did. We'll start it off with Luke Keekly that we bought back right here. We'll go ahead and compare him. Honestly, I don't know if this is a good idea, bro. I'm just going to throw it out there. A lot of people say it's a good idea, but I just did it. I don't know if it's a good idea. I'm just going to say that. Also, I feel like now I'm committed to doing the Ronnie Lott set instead of waiting, buying Earl Thomas off the auction block potentially, and then upgrading his card that way. I don't know. I'm not very good at math. If you can't tell, maybe that's a better way. If I could be the first one to get Ronnie Lott done, maybe I can come out and make a shitload of coins. Look at my man Keekly though. One secure tackler, none getting by him. 80 speed, 83 excel, 91 tackling, 93 play wreck, which I think play wreck is huge, man. 86 block shedding, 90 power move with 83 zone coverage. We also picked up Vaughn Miller. He doesn't have any boost. We did have to power him up, but what I learned from uh, Khalil Mack is if you're not a 90 overall, you don't get an ability. So why the hell, besides getting a chemistry, would I, would I power him up? I don't know. I probably will still do. I guess, I, honestly, I feel like I learned a lot. I learned a lot from this video. 85 speed, Landon Collins, 89 pursuit, 91 play rec. Oh, dude, Landon Collins, he plays so well. 93 hit power, 85 zone. You guys can also see Earl Thomas, 89 speed, 90 excel, 93 play rec, 93 zone, 88 hit power. If there's someone I'm going to notice the most, I think it's going to be Earl Thomas. We also have Davion Clowney. Once again, no power-up, so we get no chemistry, no ability. And in order to do that, it's going to cost a lot more. Let me go ahead and upgrade my Ryan Shazier so you guys can see exactly where Ryan Shazier is. Um, I'm getting there. 75 overall. Still a gold card. I've been using him in games. I'll show you my stats with him, but 75 speed, he's not bad. Like, he's not bad. He's not good, but he's not bad. Obviously, we got Jalen Ramsey. Stats aren't going to change from when we first got him. And exactly the same thing with Xavier Rhodes. We will have to power them up in order to get the stats. But you can see Khalil Mack. I don't know if I showed the stats for Khalil Mack. We'll compare him and Aaron Donald on the screen. Mack, four speed faster. Aaron Donald, one acceleration faster. Aaron Donald's definitely going to be the stronger out of the two. Mack with better tackling. Donald with better play rec. Mack with better block shedding. And obviously Donald, better power move, better finesse move. But both of these guys, I feel like, are both going to be goons. So you guys can see the stats that I have with actual Muttmaster Gold, Ryan Shazier. Nine interceptions, 134 yards, 16 tackles for a loss, seven pass deflections, two forced fumbles, three recoveries, two sacks, 49 solo tackles. I'm using them as a backup. One defensive touchdown. And my Muttmaster, we're getting there. Are we close? Hell no. Well, that's going to be it for the video. Like I said, guys, if you watched it all the way through, man, 4 million coins spent. I'm hurting. I really am. Uh, I feel like I probably made some bad decisions, but then again, who knows? We don't know how the market's going. Maybe I made some really good decisions. We're going to have to find out how this team plays, especially on the defense. If you did enjoy, drop a like. Leave a comment down below. I'll see you in my next upload. I feel like I got finesse. Okay.